In this video, I'm going to share with you the new meta way that people are playing defense in Madden 22. Something that you should really take note of. Watch till the end of the video because we've got some great tips in this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you hope you enjoy this breakdown. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I upload new videos every single day, multiple times a day, that can help you become a better Madden player. Today, we're taking a look at the 46 defensive playbook. I'm going to be talking about a coverage that you can utilize out of the nickel 335 or the nickel 335 wide you can actually do this out of any uh formation in the game it's really an adjustment it's one adjustment uh and you're gonna have uh, i think significantly better coverage uh as a result of this adjustment so uh be sure to strap in here we got some stuff we're going to talk about really really excited uh to share this with you so what we're going to do um this is really really important if you want to learn my entire 46 defensive ebook i've got stuff from 335 35 wide i got big nickel i got dollar uh, uh, I got some four or six bear stuff that we're looking at. Uh, be sure to join my Patreon. By joining my Patreon, uh, I'm going to link that in the description. It's just 10 bucks. You're going to get access to everything. You're going to access to all 12 of my ebooks that I've already released and any ebooks that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. You can feel free to cancel whenever you want, uh, but it's just 10 bucks a month. It's a great deal uh, for you to get become a better Madden player. Now, what we're going to do. Um, is we're going to come out in 335. Now, this is really, really important. What you want to do is you want to go through, and this is how I like to set this up. I like to sub in corners at the safety position. So, for example, for the Green Bay Packers, we're going to put Kevin King in there, and we're going to put Razul Duckless. And then this, at the linebacker positions, we're going to put safety. So I like to put uh, Savage in there. I like to put Adrian Amos in there. And then I like to put, if I could find uh, Redmond, you could just pick a safety. It doesn't really matter who, uh, whoever the best man coverage safety is. And then what you can do here is put outside linebackers at defensive end. So it's really kind of a one, uh, it's, it's basically like a one, uh, two, and then you have eight DBs on the field. So very effective way to do this. And then what I like to do out of this is I actually like to go into my audibles. You could leave the cover to man if you would like to. You could also leave the Mike Blitz O, but the one that I really like is the cover one uh, robber or the cover one contain or the cover one uh, safety blitz. Now the reason why I like the cover one coverage um, is because of how it's going to play. Uh, Mike Blitz Zero is very good too. Mike Blitz Zero is very good too. I want you to hear me say that. Uh, cover two man is very good too, okay? Uh, but we're just gonna show how this works. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out in three, three, five. It doesn't matter what play. I would prefer you pick a man to man uh, play, something like a cover two man, uh, if we're gonna be audibly into man coverage. So cover two man is what we're gonna come out in. Now, I'm just gonna back the ball off, kind of reset, but here is the deal. Man coverage with the right zone adjustments, at least right now, is probably the best way to play defense. Um, and there's ways that we teach this in the ebook um, that is going to make it even better. Now, I'm not going to be teaching any pressure concepts. You can send pressure from this formation with really, really simple adjustments. But I want to show this coverage. So, what we're going to do is we're going to audible down into, again, anything you want. You can, any of these main coverages is fine um, against trips tight end. I like to come out and cover two man, but if you want to come out in um, Mike Blitz Zero, you certainly can. But anyways, let me just show you uh, this. So against Bunch, I like Mike Blitz Zero. So you see we come out and we have this look. Now what we're going to do is we are going to press coverage. We're going to shade inside. That is really, really important. Shade inside. We don't want to shade underneath necessarily. We want to shade inside. There are certain situations where you could shade underneath. I'm going to show you why you don't want to do that in just a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crash our D-line up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put both of our outside uh, linebackers on zones, whatever we want. I like to put two curl flats out there. And then we're going to take the defensive end that is on um, the trips side of the formation and bluff blitz him. So you see it looks like this right here. Now, the reason that this coverage is so good right now is because, especially if you're running like a cowboy theme team or something in Mutt, it's just really hard. These routes don't beat these uh, this man coverage, at least at this point, because um, the cuts aren't super sharp. And what you're going to see like right here, for example, the closing speed. That's what I also want to teach a little bit. The closing speed from this 
at this point of the year because players in Mutt are getting faster, significantly faster, you're starting to see that this closing speed um, on a route is becoming much, much higher. So you see here, like this is verticals, for example. Notice like, and again, I'm getting shedded, but, but notice how it's the separation is not like dramatic. There's slight separation. And when you shade inside, uh, what you're gonna notice is that the closing speed is going to get significantly buffed and they're going to basically not, they're just not going to uh, lose as much ground and they're gonna be able to catch up, especially if you have fast players. So watch this vertical route. This is one of the most you know popular maybes this year and you see it's gonna go. And take a look at this closing speed. Great, great, great coverage on this, especially because we shaded inside. Now, the reason we don't wanna shade inside and underneath, I'm gonna show that right here. Um, so I'm gonna shade inside and underneath, and I just want you to watch uh, what happens on this play. So I'm gonna go to verticals, and this guy Johnson is going up against Alexander. Uh, Alexander's obviously a much better player, but what you're gonna see is when I shade underneath, I basically will get a step on this wheel and be able to try to do like a swerve catch. They can do that out of multiple formations, whether it be trips tied in, bunch, bunch tied in, it doesn't really matter, right? So the reason why I like to do that adjustment is because by just shading inside, you're not gonna have as much of a problem uh, when it comes to stuff like that. Now, uh, let me show you one other thing real quick. So let me go to bunch tight in. Uh, so let's say we're defending bunch tight end. One of the cool parts about this is you don't really have to flip your play. All you have to do is, is man align uh, like this if you wanted to. What, what I like to do against bunch tight end actually though is I actually like to go cover two man. The reason why is as you see, uh, if you take a look at what happens here. Now we're going to make basically the same adjustments. What we're going to do out of this is we're going to purple both of our outside linebackers, okay? And then we're going to blitz our guy right here. Um, now you might need to kind of move, you might need to spread your linebackers just to kind of get a better animation, but everything really is going to look the same, except now what we're going to do here is now you see that I've got kind of this look or this setup. So what I like to do is I like to take, um, you know, these safeties, right? And I'm going to cross man onto the tight end in case the tight end goes out. Normally the tight end doesn't go on a route, by the way, uh, in most people's bunch tight ends. And then what we can do, because of just kind of the alignment of this formation and what we get here, we can man up like this. And now I want you to see, this is one of the better plays in the game. PA boot over, right? It's really, really tough. And look at the man coverage. Look at the man coverage, just hang with it. And it plays it really, really well. So to me, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you should run man coverage every play. I think that would be irresponsible to say that. But what I will say is try this coverage out. Let me know what you think about it. If you want to get a little bit more in-depth analysis, uh, I would say to join the Patreon. By joining that Patreon, like I said, you're not only going to get the full 46 ebook, but I've got 11 other ebooks uh, in the membership right now, and we're going to be putting two ebooks in this week. I got a new offense I want to share with you, and I got a new uh, defense that I can't wait to talk about. I've been working on it for about a month and a half now. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about these uh, th this defense, go ahead and grab the Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below, and you can sign up for the Patreon membership today for just 10 bucks and literally start getting access to absolutely everything. We put a, uh, we've been trying to do more kind of um, weekly uh, updates in the Patreon with the metas and stuff, and so we've been doing that a lot as well. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it, but try shading inside. I would not necessarily say to shade underneath. The cool part about press coverage is when you press and shade inside this is just my opinion you're not going to get as bombed over the top especially if you have good corners check out the cowboys theme team for that but thanks for watching the video and we will see you guys next time if you want to join the patreon check, head on down to the description and click that link that i put down there for you